Oh, it's a bug you have to reload and fix. Oh, okay. Attempts to scan the object in high-speed orbit have been unsuccessful. The object quickly falls below B93PO's horizon, and the silver fine instruments are simply unable to keep up. Uh, while B93PO's gravitational pull is strong, that alone does little to explain the object's extreme momentum. The object itself possesses some extraordinary properties, or there's some gra gravitational phenomena at work. The object's velocity appears to be increasing over time. The science officer, the defied pug, suspects that it may soon be thrown out of orbit, even without outside interference. Um... Dispatch a drone and attempt to latch onto the object to reduce its momentum. Get away from it. Uh, let's try and use a drone. Speed demon halted. The drone successfully intercepts the unknown object's orbit by latching onto the object and then thrusting in reverse. Little by little, the drone was eventually able to direct it to the nine silver 99 find for retrieval. The object looks like some sort of box contained... Uh, constructed of alien material. Vein-like ridges uh, meander along its sides, congregating at the top in some type of sphere-shaped mechanism. You can only guess as to its contents. Uh, open it, study it, get rid of it. Well, we'll research it. That was really weird. Oh, there we are. Amoebas have been finally pacified. Temporary, re uh, temporary retain, uh, refraining from venting certain emissions from our vessel's reactor cores while in the immediate vicinity of space amoebas uh, seems to be enough to not arouse their ire. With this new protocol in place, they no longer pose a threat and we've been able to study them at close range. Excellent. Research option gained amoeba breeding program and research option gained regenerative hull tissue. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look. Bubbles is definitely going to need a bloody heal after that. I lost a lot of ships. Though. Most vexing. All right, let's uh, bring you down to this station for now. My ally has joined the fight, though, which should hopefully mean that I don't lose this state. Oh, well, even if I do, it's fine. We'll almost certainly be able to take it back. Unless... Okay. It does appear that my fleets are just not going to uh, go get fixed. Oh, am I... The bug will continually affect that fleet until you save and reload. Right, okay. Thank you very much, chat. Super appreciate it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we must save and reload in order to fix it. No worries. This is the yeah, good thing this is an Iron Man, yeah. Our Federation will grow stronger while members maintain good cohesion. What? Winning? When not in a Federation, though? I don't even. Veer, you're being very weird. I'm just going to say it. Didn't want to. You left me no choice. You're being very, very bizarre. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. It's fine. Bubbles has been fully repaired. 
As has Z Primo. And what they got down there? 904. I would actually like it if we could get in there and just hold this position. As that would mean, from that point on, my science ship would have free reign to just research everything they wanted. We'll see if we can do that. We're moving up to Dorfil, annoyingly, but I may have to hop up then and deal with that first. Reinforcements in transit. At least one of your fleets in transit, reinforcing another. It will take them some time to reach the target fleet. Very well. Issue is, they'll probably get intercepted. A study has been completed. There we go. Now we've got destroyers. That did not take us very long at all. We've got quite a lot of research to do down here. Afterburners and ceramo metal armor. Um, alternatively, we could go for star holds. Kind of like the idea of going for star holds, honestly. This is not going to go anywhere. Getting star holds will allow us to do quite a lot more with each station, so let's go. Go for it. I do not see a downside to that. Unfortunately, they are going to break stuff there. That's just the way that's going to be. A station is under attack. Yep. Uh, G war goals seventy three. Got a little bit of a push. They will claim the station. There's not a lot I can do about it. I might be able to get that in time, but it's very unlikely at this point. Space but where they're going inside. next is the question. There we go. A belligerent fleet has been engaged. A system survey has concluded. Now, what I would love to know is what their ships are like. Can I not see those ships details? Our scanners can make no sense of this strange vessel. Hmm. Is that perhaps an a uh, uh, one of their uh, traits? In fact, in that. Oh wow, my fleet is getting hammered in this. We'll win, but that was a. Big loss. I lost 11 Corvettes there. My goodness. That was a brutal loss. My allies' ships should go through and start cleaning up down there, but that was, that was painful. That was utterly... Utterly painful. Uh, head back and heal up both. Debris has been analyzed. Blue lasers, ceramo metal materials, physics research, engineering research. That was that was awful. Checked out about as much of this area as we can. 
Uh, time for us, I guess, to start heading up here. Right, and you simply have to try and leave. Try and go home. And then use an emergency FTL jump. You guys come down here and help out with the research. That would be wonderful. You can head... Well, actually, you can head and hang out down here. I would like to build a starbase. Uh, though, that being said, right now, that might not be a very uh, wise move, frankly. There we go. My allies' fleet should start mopping up a little bit down there. Relative measure of the war exhaustion. Debris has been analyzed. Blue laces after bonus fusion power, physics research, bubbles is fully healed. Admiral, yet another login. Has leveled up. Well done, Admiral. Excellent claim. Now, if we can take this system as well, that's going to be amazing. We're going to expand quite aggressively at that point. And all we'll have to do is hold this one system here to completely shut down their fleets. Though that is a nasty looking fleet there. Yikes. Okay, it's split up a little bit, but... Oof. That is going to be brutal. An unusual phenomenon has topped up. We're picking up what may be faint transmission coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. Cloud, uh, cloud, someone or something be trying to communicate. Cla uh, cowled could. <laughs> Oh my lord, that that is a definite sign that it's getting getting late. That was my dyslexia knocking on the door loud and clear. But this point, I lost so much fleet there to reinforce this with just the three fleets that I have. It's going to be a Massive problem. Debris has and they are going to just going to keep reinforcing for a while. I'm close to being able to push them to uh, status quo will eventually happen, but it's going to take time. There's going to be a lot of back and forth in. Achieving the war goals will be rough. Uh, relative navy strength, that's going to be rough as well. Got a good chunk of research there. I could be getting your opinion on what, uh, which one you prefer, authoritarian or xenophobe. Um, authoritarian, I would probably say. Reinforcements in transit. Good, good, good. What is that fle fleet doing there? The Iron Age. 
The Bronze Age aliens of Polistia II have advanced sufficiently in their use of metallurgy to be considered an Iron Age civilization. The tools and weapons they make use of are becoming more efficient, and the architecture of their cities has become more elaborate. This civilization is now spread to cover most of the planet, and some of their larger cities are home to nearly a million individuals. It was bound to happen, really. I need you over there. Uh, they are going to continue reinforcing. Though that fleet is going back. Okay. That's good to see. In fact, at this point, they may actually be reasonably uh, vulnerable. But I'm going to wait for my fleet to reinforce properly. Chemical Bliss. Deep tissue implants are the latest innovation in the revolutionary overlapping of sensory engineering. Uh, what would we all want to look at here? Regenerative hulls would be okay. Uh, amoeba flagella. Fleet command limit. That would be nice. That would actually be very nice. These are both because we've got harsh. Uh, we've unlocked them. They're always going to be available to us at this point. The border there, the orange border, means that they're not part of the random roll. So we'll go with this one for now. I think that's a bit more of a useful one for me, immediately speaking. Now, the issue I have is... Where are the fleet? There we are. They are slowly the filtering in. Yes, it is sadly beset. But there's not a great deal I can do about it right now. That fleet is a significant concern. An unusual phenomenon has cropped up. A vessel of some kind has crashed into the su surface of this asteroid. Wreckage from the craft can still be found. Uh, go ahead and research out. Okay, some more rivalries. This one will not be able to to deal with them. We're going to need to get out there because this space station will eventually lose. Um, now this fleet is somewhat strong. Hopefully we can move fast enough. It's fine. They're just going back. That fleet will possibly press onwards? I don't know. No, they're falling back as well. In that case, we might want to push the battle. We'll see. Uh, where's that? Oh, right. They're, they're jumping back to try and take that station. Key drum system has been detected on a direct course towards PASH system. Blue lasers, afterburners, fusion power, physics research. I mean, slowly, we're gaining... We're probably gaining more research than they are. Significantly more research than they are. And as a result, our fleet are just going to start getting better soon. The Sylvan... Uh, Fine has picked up some curious readings from Zanya 1. There are significant pockets of radiation in the gas giant atmosphere that appear to be the results of intense orbital bombardment. What someone could hope to gain by bombing a gas giant from orbit remains a mystery, however. As Silver Fine was preparing to break orbit, science officer the Divide Pug discovered a weak signal coming from the planet's interior. Maybe the transmission of some kind, but the gas giant's background radiation makes it difficult. We should investigate this. 
go to. I would very much like it if you could research that project for me. Crash Scrapcraft. Uh, Echo Monopolis is Megacorp, yeah. A small scout craft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists to believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it is too damaged to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked clean yet by looters yet. Okay. Well, study has been completed. And we finally got survey speed and automatic surveys. Hooray. Now what are we going to grab next? Honestly, we can push fusion power, probably. We've gotten quite the bonus from the research that we've received. Uh, this stage, I would like you to retreat, or just yeah, go go to the nearest place where you you can be safe. And let's make sure we get some more ships on the way. Gonna need constant backup. But they have lost significantly more ships than I have so far. Whether we can keep that up, I have no idea, but I'm certainly trying. A hostile fleet has appeared to us. This should change over in just a moment. Hopefully we can hold this area for a little bit and allow them to approach and fight us around this station. As that will give us the best odds of surviving. Oh no, they went, they went straight back. Okay. They're going to try and push into Dothril. Okay. The diplomatic proposal will be automatically declined. Come now, Voitzingers. Let us end this war before it gets out of hand. Okay, they want a status quo. Hmm. Ninety-nine, but ninety-four. This is the this is the problem. I'm I'm exhausted as well. Attrition has been pretty hard on me with this war. Yeah, I don't I don't think pushing forward with this war is going to benefit me. I'll get Vilith. So I'll I'll gain one system. Okay. I don't particularly want you to have open borders, but uh Right, I guess. Yeah. 
I have no idea what's going on there, but uh, if you two could merge, that would be grand. If you could go back, that would also be grand. And then if you could go and heal, that would be great. We're okay. I didn't see anything about them getting open borders in uh, what they suggested. That's a truce. Does a truce imply open borders? I have forced open borders. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's frustrating, but I guess I don't mind too much. For now, though, main thing is we've expanded out a little bit. We did get a win. I would much prefer to take both of these systems and have only one place I need to defend from, but... Yeah, to give you time to get your fleets out, that makes sense. A special project is complete. Science officer, the Divide Pug, has managed to isolate the weak signal that was coming from somewhere deep inside the atmosphere of Xanya-1. It does indeed appear to be a transmission, and we have filtered it through our translation software. Finally, we'll well met, Spacefarer. We are the Daphnak, and the planet you are orbiting is Tolok Rong, our ancestral home. It, it is always uh, riveting to meet a solid even if our last encounter with your kind was somewhat problematic. You have no doubt detected the radiation surges coming from our atmosphere. Tolok Rong is dying, and our species will perish unless we find a new home. We have identified a planet that would suit our physiology, but we have no means to get there. Sadly, our non-corporeal nature means we don't have much in the way of industry or technology. Will you help us? Uh, if you have no technology, how are we speaking? What happened to your planet? You want us to transport your entire species to another world? Uh, if you have no technology, how are you speaking? Ah, but you're not the first solid to pay us a visit. Another spacefarer graciously donated a small subspace transmitter and a scanning array to us 2.9 million solar cycles ago. They had been designed to be compatible with our physiology. One of the more positive encounters we've had with your kind. What happened to your planet? Well, the last time Solids visited us a few thousand cycles ago, things didn't go very well. They wanted us to embrace their religion. We refused, and this triggered some kind of genocidal reaction. Completely unwarranted. Before we knew what was happening, they maneuvered their fleet into orbit and unleashed a massive bombardment. Ahem. <clears throat> well... You want us to transport your entire species to another planet? Yes, and hopefully soon. Don't worry, there aren't too many of us. Most Dathnak died when our planet was bom bombarded, and those who survived retreated deeper into the atmosphere. Communication with the surface is difficult here, and the radiation is spreading. We don't have much time. Uh, we will help you relocate. Of course we will. The situation law has been amended. Excellent. I knew we sh could count on you. The coordinates of our new home have been forwarded. You must promise not to let your own colonists claim this alluring world before we get there, no matter how strong the temptation. Uh, okay. Right, let's uh, pause that for a moment. Zen Muffin has leveled up. Well done, Z Zen Muffin. Uh, yes, yes. I realize that you don't like me. That's fine. I don't like you. We are in agreement. Right. Well, we should have a means to deal with this, I should imagine. Or maybe not. Where's that sign ship? Come back here, you. Woof. Well, that certainly was a bit of a big battle. Uh, we managed to claim a single single uh, bit of space. 
what I would love to do is, if possible, carve out this space there and then make it independent. So it just causes a problem for them. <laughs> Uh, hi Kaiser, you need a something for someone to work. How are we doing? We're not doing great for farmland, but this is not a particularly great place to farm. Mind you, neither is this, realistically speaking. Sure, let's get let's get a little bit of farmland down. We're going to need it. It will have to happen. Now Sagathia Station needs a name. Sandman Station. There we go. And with that, I feel that we've uh, we did okay in that first war. We came out of it with a lot of new tech. Our enemies may have gained a little bit, but nothing like we gained. We were very fortunate in the, the sort of uh, tech we were able to take from them. Very, very fortunate. Now, hopefully, we can expand out a little bit more. Uh, do we have any first contact we need to do? Uh, guess I could work on this one. Or we can leave searching. Six months. I think I'll allow that one to finish. Edict expires. Master's teachings. I'm fairly certain I like this one. Yeah, research for socio uh, for societies is, is nice. So let's pop that down. And at this point, now that the war is over, it is time for us to celebrate our togetherness, which now includes a new system. We are even more together than we were before. It is time. The most devout amongst us are prepared to meet their fate, ensuring that our society is brought closer together. Let our unity shine out into the lonely, dark spaces of the world. Monthly unity, plus 10%, pop growth, plus 5. There we go. A sacrifice made. Twilight togetherness. A palpable hush descends across the twilight court. Pilgrims have journeyed from near and far to their chosen places of worship, forming new friendships and rekindling old ones along the way. Our society's rituals have been observed and invested in the newly emerged mortal initiates, whose silent procession is said to have drawn smiles and tears alike. The principal death priest at Phantom Hive led a warm sermon, calling for the faithful to be nurturing and considerate of their relationships and to thrive, th thrive in our mutuality. As each mortal initiate proceeded to the sacrificial chamber, collective sighs rang out. Each has met their end now, leaving a legacy in benevolent study. Blessed be the divine. The sacrifice of mortal initiates has granted an additional plus 6% uni unity output. There we go.
Now, from that... I'm not sure if that will uh, show up here properly or not. System surveyed, edict expired, all sorts of great things, all done. It's going to take us 12 months to get to the next edict. Our cult great, indeed. And on that note, sad though I am to have to say it, it is time to wrap up the stream. We've had a fairly solid stream. I, I can't tell you how long it's been doing. I think it's been about nine hours. Um, just because of the shenanigans with Twitch early. But it is that time for us to wrap up. You're a and you made it. You made it back to us wrapping things up. But we've only had a ten hour stream. Ten hours. It was a ten hour stream. How do I like the espionage from First Contact System? I actually really enjoy it. I really enjoy how incredibly important envoys are now. I really like how important envoys are. They felt... I mean, they, they were important before. They certainly were uh, an interesting part of uh, federations. But now they have a lot more use. Running out of available envoys... Like, I can imagine if you don't have diplomatic core... You, you sincerely have to just put first contact request into a queue and wait. We've been very, very fortunate with that. Very fortunate. But in the next stream, hopefully we can uh, curb the power of this, uh, of the hijam state a little bit further. Perhaps develop our ties of alliance a little bit more. Certainly, we're going to spread out, claim a bunch more systems around around this area. Probably not get too close to the Fallen Empire. We'll just go about this far and then just leave that to them. But I'm pretty happy with where we managed to get to. Depending on how things continue to develop, we may actually end up having to just expand in this direction. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned about them. That might be a bit of a problem for us, ultimately. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. We've uh, we've managed to do okay. We've got a decent amount of materials uh, back, uh, so kind of backing up. We do need to expand though, and getting some more planets inhabited, so that we can, at the very least, increase our production of consumer goods and alloys, uh, so that in a war, we can sustain losses and repair them without uh, without having to struggle quite as much as we were in that war. That was a bit of an eye-opener for me, honestly. We definitely need to put a little bit more love into our, our industrial war efforts. <laughs> for better. Or indeed, for worse. But uh, that's it for me. So, as always, thank you so much for joining me. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next. But until then, as I until then and as always. See, so yeah, I'm tripping over my words now. To take care, everyone.